Good afternoon and welcome to CS 101. We are working on Word, Chapter 3, Project A, the research paper. You're going to open Word. Ignore the clipboard since I am using that to speed the video along. Click File, Open, Computer, Browse. You will navigate to your flash drive and your student data files. Chapter 3, and you will open 3A Quantitative Technology. Um, you're going to press Control A, select the entire document, and click File, Save As. You're going to browse again until you get to your flash drive, and you will save it where it is supposed to be. For me, I've already completed this project, so I will replace it. Okay, with Control A selected, your entire document will be highlighted. You will go up to the Home tab in the Paragraph group, select Spacing, and go to Double Space. And then you're going to click Page Layout and change Spacing After to Zero. And back to the Home tab. You're going to press Control Home and it'll put you right here. You're going to enter in the following text, pressing enter after each one. Then for this line here, click anywhere inside it and press control E to center the text. You're going to save your document and move on to the next step. So go to the Insert tab, Header, Edit Header. You're going to type Foster in your Space button. You're going to go to Page Number, Current Position, Plain Number, right there. You're going to go to Home tab, Right Align It, Design tab, Close the Header and Footer. Next, we're going to go to the paragraph that begins, Many of Us, and we're going to select the entire document and highlight it. We're going to come here to the spacing and make it all double spaced. And we're going to come up here. We're going to click the dialog launcher box. We're going to come down to special, first line, make sure it says 0.5, make sure your line spacing reads double, and click OK. Next, we're going to go control home, put you at the top of your document. I'm not sure why I have spaces before those, there shouldn't be. It's fixed. We're going to go to insert. Footer, Edit Footer, Document Info, File Name, and Close Your Footer. Make sure you click Save, and we move on to the next step. We're going to go to top of page 2, which is here, with the paragraph that begins, Accurate Records and Data. And we're going to insert a footnote after the word infancy, which we're going to go to references, insert footnote, and it'll bring you here. And you're going to type up this. Next step. We're going to go locate the paragraph Many of Us at the top of the page. We're going to go to the last word of time here. We're going to insert a footnote. And we're going to paste organizations. Now, 
we're going to click the Save button again. We're going to right click in here and we're going to click Style, Modify, and Format. And we're going to go to Paragraph. Special should be first line. Line spacing should be double. You're going to click OK. Back on this page, you're going to change the style of font to 11. You're going to click OK. You're going to click Apply. It should change both of them. You're going to click the Save button again. Next step is we're going to scroll to the middle of page 2. where it reads accurate records again we're going to find the line that reads the end of the quotation marks right here and come up to insert citation add a new source click here where it says type of source and make it check the selection book if the word medium does not show click on show all bibliography fields and it should bring it up do not worry if some of those lines are blank. And you're going to click OK. And as you can see, it entered it in. You're going to right click till you get the box here. You're going to click a little thing, edit citation, and you're going to add the page number 5. And click OK. Next, we're going to scroll down to the very last paragraph. Control N with the Z's. We're going to go inside the period between the E and the period and we're going to click insert a citation add a new source it should be read as book as well oh excuse me click in the author's box I apologize for this slight glitch. We're going to go back to a couple steps. We're going to click between the E and the period. We're going to click Insert Citation, Add New Source. Make sure your source selected is Book. We're going to go to Author and enter in the following information. And click OK. We're going to click on here, push the down tab, edit citation, and add page number 28 and click OK. We are next going to go to the paragraph Doctors Have Long, right here at the bottom of page 2. We go to the 
states and add a period go between the S and the period there you're going to click insert citation add new source scroll down and select website you're going to add in the author And you're going to click OK. Since it is a website, there is no page. Click your Save button. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page here. And you're going to press Control and Enter to insert a page break. We're going to come to the Home tab here. Click the paragraph dialog box where it says special, click none, and select OK, and it moves the indent in. We're going to type in works cited, which I don't believe, oh, there we go. And we're going to press enter. We're going to come up here to references, where it says bibliography, click on it, and scroll down, insert bibliography. You're going to highlight it all and hit home and then we're going to double space it and we're going to go to page layout and remove the spacing to zero we're going to select inside works cited and press control e to center the text and we're going to save next step is we're going to click on references and we're going to click on manage sources but first double check and make sure where it says style it says MLA and then you'll have your list here on the left which is your master list and then you have your current list on your right if you've completed a document before with sources you may have more listed in your master list just ignore the ones that are not needed click on so Paul Eric J and click edit you want to take the S delete it and add a T since it is a typo. You see another typo I made. You're going to click OK. It'll ask if you want to update both lists. You click Yes. And then you're going to close. If you scroll up, you will see that it has been highlighted here. Click the little down arrow and click Update Citations and Bibliography. If you scroll back down to the bottom, you will see that it has updated the rest of the information. You will need to highlight all this information again, go to your home tab, and add the double spacing again. I am skipping activity 3.11. It has you using the navigation pane, which is on the view tab and you just click here and it just allows you to navigate through the document with greater ease when you have the larger documents. You will not need it. Um, we're going to start with managing document properties. We're going to go to click save and go to file. We're going to go show all properties. You're going to add in the information that follows.
press your tab key and enter in the tags. Press tab again to go to the comments box. says subject as your CRN number company and for manager you're going to enter in Dr. Hillary Kim Where it says Go Series, you're going to right click on it and remove person. You're going to add yourself. And you're going to come over here and click Save. We are skipping Objective 4, Activity 3.13, and starting with Activity 3.14. So the first step is after you've clicked Save, is you're going to go to File close file again open computer browse and you will find your flash drive under computer student data files make sure you're in word chapter 3 and you're going to open the PDF document you're going to click OK you're going to change where it says volume 1 to volume 3 and you're going to insert you're going to add a footer edit footer let me close that for a moment I wonder why my screen's all screwy let me close that there we go insert we're going to add a footer add a footer and you're going to enter in your last name first name and you're going to close the header next you want to go to file Sorry about that. Save as. Browse. You're going to go to your disk, your flash drive. You're going to go to completed work. And you're going to name it the same thing. And you're going to make sure you, in save as type, you select PDF. And you call it your last name, first name, 3A PDF Reflow. Click save. Mine's already completed, but I'll still click yes anyway and therefore it should show you how it looks close it out click file close don't save and you have completed word chapter three project a thank you and you have a great day